This is a video to show the fractional distillation of a mixture of ethanol and water to extract a near pure sample of ethanol. Fractional distillation is used to, to separate two liquids that mix, which have a boiling point for each component that is different, but usually only different by a small amount. In this case, the ethanol, which is flammable, has a boiling point of around 78 degrees centigrade, whereas the water has a boiling point of 100 degrees. When they are mixed, they would not produce a flammable mixture. But hopefully at the end of this experiment, we'll be able to show that the product, ethanol, does in fact burn. The fractional distillation apparatus used in a laboratory uses a round bottom flask. The round bottom flask and then attached to it is a fractionating column. This is simply a column which has a large surface area and allows for boiling and condensing to occur. In this case, the fractionating column is made simply by putting lots of glass beads inside the tube. The temperature at which the vapors pass across on heating is measured using the thermometer at the top. This is then attached to a Liebig condenser. This is the Liebig condenser, which is um, set up so that the water comes in from the bottom of the jacket that is around the tube that delivers the, um, the liquids, the condensed liquids, and the water comes out at the top, in part to fill the jacket, but also to create the most effective temperature gradient for condensation. We will collect the pure ethanol in another round bottom flask. The first job is to mix the ethanol and the water. So we'll put a little bit of ethanol and a small amount of the water together as a mixture. This mixture is going to be transferred into the round bottom flask. We're also going to add, as well as the mixture, some anti-bumping granules. The reason for doing this is that they provide an um, inert surface for boiling and so the boiling doesn't get too violent. I have clamped at this point, which is not actually necessary, so that I'm able to um, take off the round bottom flask. I've got clamped securely here, the round bottom flask at the bottom. I'll just double check on that connection. So, as well as the mixture of ethanol and water, which is non-flammable, I will add a few anti-bumping granules. So that I'm able to produce the correct combination of anti-bumping granules and mixture so that the boiling is none too violent. And then I'll replace that into here. At this point I could take this clamp off, it's serving no great purpose. And at this point I will also turn on the water. The water comes in, as I say, from the bottom and comes out at the top. So now, if I was being absolutely safe, I would warm this with a hot water bath or with a heating mantle. Um, but for speed of reaction, I'm going to use a, a Bunsen, although we do have flammable materials available. So using the Bunsen, I'm going to warm this mixture of the ethanol and water. And what happens is that as the mixture boils and reaches the temperature 
um, of 78 to 100 degrees, this mixture is going to boil. When it boils, the vapour that comes off will be richer in the ethanol because it has a lower boiling point. Now as this vapour boils, it is not going to have 100% ethanol. But as it boils, it will be richer than the original mixture in ethanol. So as it's heated, the vapour produced as it starts to boil will have a greater proportion of ethanol. So as it boils, boiling a little bit violently given the amount of anti-bumping granules there, you'll see that the vapour starts to condense in the fractionating column. Now if I keep this boiling, what will happen is that as the vapour rises up this cool fractionating column, it will condense. But as it condenses, as you can see, it just rising up at this point, it will, the vapour will condense and fall back down. As it falls back down, it hits a hotter area. Because it's richer in the ethanol, which has a lower boiling point, it will boil again. And so it will continue to boil. As it boils, you'll see that it rises up and continues to fall back and then rise up as it continues to boil. Eventually, it will be near pure ethanol. And so what will happen is that as it rises up into this area, you might be able to just about see that rising up into this area. At this point, and only at this point, will the thermometer change to read a temperature that is higher than its original temperature. So here comes the vapour and it is dripping back off the thermometer. And so it drips back down into the fractionating column. Now this liquid at the top, we are hoping is going to be pure ethanol. Now you can only see this, or near pure ethanol, you can only see this if the thermometer has reached a temperature that is near to uh, 78 degrees. Now the vapour then passes into the Liebig condenser, and as it passes into the Liebig condenser it cools again because of the jacket of cold water. And so the ethanol will start to come out on the other end, and you will see quite clearly that we have collecting liquid that is condensed at the other side. We're rather hoping that that liquid that is collected on the other side is going to be pure ethanol. So at this point I'll stop heating. We're not aiming to get um, water only on this side. The purpose of this fractional distillation is to make sure that we collect some pure ethanol um, or near pure ethanol from this mixture of water and ethanol. So. When the reaction, uh, well, sorry, when the process has stopped, we will dismantle and have a look at the ethanol that has been produced and see if we have anything uh, which is uh, flammable. In order to do this, I will pour the ethanol onto the ethanol that we have collected, onto a piece of glass wool and we will see if the ethanol produced is flammable. I'll place this glass wool onto a heat proof mat of course so that we do not um, affect the bench. So at this point we can dismantle More ethanol will drip down, no doubt. And here is your pure product, or near pure product. If I pour it onto here, we'll see if we can ignite it to show that we have achieved the separation. Uh, and very clearly, you can see that the product of the reaction, or not the product of the reaction, but the product of the separation, is definitely flammable. Which shows that we have separated the ethanol 
from the ethanol water mixture that we had present.